Andrew and Brian were twins, but Brian was the most spoiled kid in the world. The whole family was mean to Andrew and gave Brian everything he ever wanted. But as he got older, Brian's spoiled behavior caught up with him. You won't believe what this spoiled twin did. Mom, can I go to the park? I finally got all my assignments done. Absolutely not. You are not going to the park. Not now, not ever. You are a disappointment. Why? Why are you being so mean to me, Mom? Mom! 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 Brian, what is it? Mom, the new PlayStation came out today and I don't have one. I need the new PlayStation right now! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Y you're right. You need that new PlayStation right away. Whoa, wait a minute. This isn't fair. How come my twin brother Brian can get everything in the world and you won't even let me go to the park? Because you're awful, that's why. Gosh, I hate living here! Wait, where are you going? I just needed some space, okay? I'm tired of you being spoiled all the time. You're obviously the favorite twin. Aw, boo-hoo. Look at little Andrew crying because he can't get what he wants. You're just jealous. I'm not jealous. I just want people around me that support me. And I'm tired of your spoiled ways. You just cry and get whatever you want all the time. Yeah, I do get what I want. And it's pretty awesome. Whatever. I'm just going for a walk. Why don't you leave me alone? Go enjoy your PlayStation or whatever else you cry for. <laughs> yeah, that's it, baby. Walk away. We'll see you later when you come home to do the dishes, loser. My gosh, I don't understand how my twin brother became so spoiled. Oh, hey. Hey, your name's Andrew, right? I think I recognize you from school. Oh, uh, hi, hi, yeah, yeah, my name's Andrew. You're, you're Emily, right? Yeah, we're in Mrs. G's science class together. Yeah, I know. <laughs> science, am I right? So cool, yeah. I, I, you're really good at science. Oh, yeah. It's like my favorite subject. I kind of want to be an astronaut someday. Well, I think you would be the best astronaut that's ever lived. Oh, wow, you think so? <laughs> that's really nice. But hey, it was good to see you. I, I gotta get going. Oh, okay, bye. Gosh, Emily, talk to me. I've had a crush on her forever. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? You left without permission and you didn't do the dishes. What is wrong with you? Why wouldn't you just have Brian do it? He's at home, he's doing nothing. No, he is being the good child and you're being the worst child. So the worst child does the dishes. But Brian's never done a chore ever in his entire life. And your point is... Look, I don't want any more back talk from you. Get in the car right now. We're going home and you are grounded. Guess what? There's only 50 Shane Plays plushies left in the entire world. Make sure you go to shameplays.shop and pick one up today. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I can't believe I did chores all day long. Well, maybe I'll just like read a book or something and just chill out since my mom will give me my phone. I can't believe I got grounded for literally no reason. Whoa, what the heck was that? Hey, Br Brian, are you okay? Oh my gosh, you crashed the car? You're not supposed to drive a car. Well, I just wanted to go get one of the new video games for my PlayStation, and I guess I just parked too close to the curb or something. I don't know. Dude, are you kidding me? Mom's gonna be so mad. You destroyed everything. What is going on here? <gasps> Andrew, what did you do? I didn't do anything, Mom. It was Brian. Brian decided to drive your car because he couldn't wait to get his new video games or whatever the heck you promised him. What? No, you are a liar. Brian would never do such a thing like this. This was you. I can't believe you. Well, even if Brian admitted it, you wouldn't even be mad at him anyway because Brian's a spoiled brat. Oh my gosh, Andrew, you are just so jealous of me. You need to stop and you need to own up to it. This was all you. It wasn't me. You're the worst, Brian. Andrew, I am sick of your attitude. March upstairs right now. You are useless and go to your room. I don't want to see your face. I don't understand why everyone loves my spoiled twin so much and not me. I just want my life to be happy. Hey, dude, what's going on? 
Hey, Andrew! Dude, where have you been? I feel like it's been weeks since I've seen you. I know. Sorry, Steve. I was grounded again because my family's awful and my brother's a spoiled brat. Oh my gosh, not again. Dude, this happens like all the time. Yeah, I know. He's just so mean. He's like relentless. He doesn't stop screaming and crying until he gets whatever he wants. He's my twin brother. He's supposed to be my friend, but he's not. He's like my enemy. Well, dude, if you ever want to like escape your awful family, you can always come hang out at my house. Man, I really appreciate it. You're the best. You're such a good friend. I wish that my family was like this. Well, what else are friends for, dude? Oh, yeah, hey, speaking of, I totally have something for you. Follow me. Oh, seriously? Yeah, come on. Here it is. This is for you. Whoa, what is that? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, dude, I remember my best friend's birthday was on Tuesday, and I had to get you a gift, so here you go. It's a brand new phone! Wow, man, this is like the nicest gift anyone's ever given me. I honestly didn't even think much about my birthday because my mom just celebrated it with Brian. Seriously? You didn't even get, like, a pack of socks or anything like that? No, nothing. Brian just cried the entire time, and all the gifts that were supposed to be for me went to him. Ugh, typical Brian, just like usual. Well, dude, this is all for you. This is your phone, and nobody can take it from you. Thanks, dude. Thanks for always having my back. You're a really good friend. Oh, man, today's that big test. Andrew! Hey, dude, you need to give me your notebook. I need to borrow it for today's test. What? No, I'm not doing that, man. I worked really hard studying for that. You did nothing but eat popcorn and watch TV all weekend. It's not my fault if you fail. Andrew, give me your notebook right now, or else, or else I'm going to tell mom that you're doing bad at school. Well, I'm not doing bad at school, and I'm not going to cheat. It's wrong, okay? If you want something, you have to earn it. You don't just deserve it because you're Brian. Oh, really? Well, then you know what? I'm going to go cry to mom and make sure that you're grounded for an entire month. No, I can't be grounded again. You got me in trouble from that stupid car thing. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Now hand over the notebook or else. Fine, here. Just if you get caught, it's on you, not me. Hey, guys, are you ready for the science test today? Hey, Emily. Yeah, I'm totally ready for this test. I've got all my notes right here. <laughs> I'm going to ace this thing. Y yeah, yeah, I I'm ready too. I, I studied really hard all weekend. Well, good luck, guys. I heard this is a hard test. Yeah, good good, uh, good luck to you too, Emily. I, uh, I See ya. Dude, what is wrong with you? Why are you acting like a total idiot? Shut up, okay? I've had a crush on Emily forever, and she finally started talking to me. Huh. Interesting. You, a crush on Emily? Puh, whatever. Just shut up and leave me alone. Go take your stupid test and don't let anybody know I gave you that notebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Emily over there. I can't believe Andrew has a crush on her. Like he's ever gonna be able to date a girl like Emily. Emily deserves to be with someone cool and popular, like me. <laughs> ah, that's a great idea. Hey, Emily, what's going on? Oh, hey, Brian. How's it going? Oh, you know, doing pretty good. How'd you do on the science test? Ugh, I don't know. I, I think I did pretty well. I actually heard that you did really great. Congratulations. Ah, oh, you know, it was easy. When you study and you're just as smart as I am, you can get anything done, you know? Oh, wow. Good for you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, so I was wondering, do you want to, like, go hang out sometime this weekend? Maybe go to the park or something like that? Oh, yeah. That actually sounds really fun. I'd love to hang out. Ah, perfect. Then it's a date. Oh, no. This, this isn't good. Hey, Andrew, hold up a second. Oh, no. Hey, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry? What are you sorry for? I don't know. What did you stop me for? I just wanted to tell you that I'm so proud of you. You got the highest score on the science test. Whoa, are you serious? I worked so hard on that. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Well, it looks as though your hard work paid off. Your grades have totally been improving. And if you keep it up, you'll be valedictorian when you graduate. Whoa, that would be so awesome. Well, thank you for the good news, Mr. Harris. Well, of course. I feel like you've got a very bright future ahead of you, Andrew. Just keep your head up and keep doing a great job. 
Wow, this is awesome. I'm feeling so good about myself. You know what? I'm just gonna ask Emily out. I'm tired of being shy and awkward around her. I mean, maybe if she gets to really know me, she'll like me too. Hey, Steve, what's up, man? Uh, dude, something just happened and I need to tell you. I just saw Brian asking Emily out to the park this weekend. What? What are you talking about, Brian? Why would he do that? Uh, because he's the most awful person on the planet, probably. Oh my gosh. I'm so frustrated. All right, dude, I gotta go. I gotta find out what's going on. Oh man, Emily, I just gotta say, you look so pretty today. And your hair is like so unique. Like no one's hair looks like that, you know? Oh, thanks. Um, I, I like your shirt. It's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. You know, it was pretty expensive, but not a big deal. Hey, do you like playing video games? Uh, not so much. I I'd like to read a little bit more. Well, I have a massive collection of video games, and I just got the newest PlayStation that came out a couple days. You should totally come over and play sometime. I'll totally teach you how to play. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess that sounds fun. I'm not really a video game person. Oh, and hey, check this out. This is the brand new phone. 12 Max, biggest screen ever, best camera. So cool, right? It just came out. Wow, yeah, r really cool. You got some cool things there, Brian. <laughs> uh, Emily, what is wrong? Oh, uh... Sorry, um, I, I'm just really tired from the test, and uh, I studied really hard, and my brain's a little fried, so uh, I, I think I'm gonna head home. What? So you don't want to hang out anymore? Um, to be honest with you, uh, n not really. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. You're stupid. You're on a date with the coolest kid in school, and this is how you act? Whatever, Emily. Brian, what did you just say to her? Are you kidding me? You are so disrespectful. You never talk to people like that. Um, what's going on here? Brian, you're the worst brother in the world. I can't believe you. I can't believe you'd ask Emily out after everything I told you. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're stupid. I'm so sick of you being mean to me. Well, yeah, take this, dude. I'm sick Ow! of you. What, what, why would you do that? Get back here, loser. You're going to pay for that. I can't believe Brian. He's like the worst brother in the entire world. He doesn't even care about anything but himself. He's awful. I mean, even Emily, he was rude to her. I understand if she doesn't like me and wants to go out with Brian, but he can't be mean to her just because he's a spoiled brat. He's just mean to everybody, and I can't stand it. There you are. Do you really think for one second I wouldn't find you? You ran home, dum-dum. Shut up, Brian. You're such a spoiled brat. I can't even be around you. And I can't believe you punched me. Seriously? Yeah, well, you deserved it, okay? You were being rude and disrespectful. Nothing anyone ever says to you gets through because you're so self-centered. Dude, shut up. Ow, dude, what the heck? You know what? If it wasn't for me, you would have failed all your school tests anyway, you stupid idiot. Shut up. I don't need you. I don't need you for anything. No, I'm not shutting up. Ow, dude! Ow. Boys, what is going on here? Brian, are you okay, my little angel? I'm, uh, I'm fine, Mom. Andrew, Andrew's just so mean. He just started hitting me. No, it's not true, okay? He started this whole thing. He's terrible. Both of you are always so mean to me. Wow, Andrew, you are such a crybaby. You know what? Neither of you guys care about me. I'm leaving this house forever. What to do I, I can't believe that i just ran away from home i feel like i got nowhere to go and i don't have anyone really besides like my friend steve gosh i'm just so frustrated why is my own twin just so spoiled and awful we're supposed to be family that's the most important thing in the world and i don't have that Hey, dude, there you are. I was getting all your text messages. What's going on? Dude, I told you I ran away and I don't know what to do. Honestly, dude, that's probably one of the smartest things that you've ever done. You totally needed to get out of there. 
Yeah, well now I'm homeless and I'm broke. I, I, I don't even have a job. I'm just a kid. What am I supposed to do? Well, I mean, you can come stay with me. My parents are really nice and we have an extra guest room in the house. It makes sense. Whoa, are you serious? You think your parents would let me stay with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. They like helping people. You'll be fine. Thanks, Steve. You're the only family that I got. Oh man, I can't believe this. Dude, we're gonna graduate in a couple days. Are you excited? Uh, I can't believe the high school's already over, man. This is ridiculous. Time's gone by so fast. I know, and we have to pass that final on Friday or else we won't really graduate. Are you nervous about the test? Did you study? Yeah, of course. I've been studying like crazy all through high school. I know I'm gonna pass it. I have one of the highest GPAs in the whole entire school. Yeah, I know, dude. Honestly, you are the smartest kid I know. I cannot believe your head isn't the size of a hot air balloon. Your brain is huge. <laughs> Thanks, dude. All right, come on. Let's head inside. We got stuff to do. Oh, whoa. Hey, Emily. Hey, what's going on, Andrew? I really like your outfit. Oh, seriously? Th thank you. Hey, are we still hanging out this weekend? Yeah, of course. I'm so excited. I have the perfect day planned. We're going to have a great time. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, sorry. My phone is going off. I didn't put it on silent. Oh. Hey, Andrew? Yeah, what's up, dude? My brother, I guess, ran into Brian. And, uh, I guess he's coming back to school today. Oh, man. Seriously? No, I haven't talked to him in so long. I don't want to see him. Well, looks like we won't really have a choice. Yo, Brian, how'd you get back in school, man? I thought you got kicked out. <laughs> Rick, it was easy. Come on. All I had to do was ask my mom to write a check, and I just slipped it onto the principal's desk, and he let me back in school. <laughs> ah, let's go. I was so bored bullying all these losers by myself. Yeah, just in time, too. I was so bored. Yeah, yeah, and we get to graduate on Friday. And you'll probably get your high school diploma and you didn't even have to come for like half the year. This is incredible. Hey, what can I say? When you got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah, but hey, uh, this test is pretty tough, man. How are we going to pass this thing? You won't be able to graduate without it. Then you'll have to stay back here by yourself like a dum-dum. Hey, I'm no dum-dum. I'm going to find a way to pass. Don't worry. All right, whatever, dude. That's awesome. Well, hey, we'll meet up later on for lunch. Maybe we can punch some kids, steal some money. I don't know. Just like old times. We got to celebrate. It's good to be back. <laughs> hey, I thought you got kicked out of school for stealing the principal's phone. What are you doing back here? Well, honestly, it's none of your business. But if you have to know, mom and I just talked to the principal and I just got let back in the school. Pretty simple. I can't believe this, man, but whatever. You're going to have to stay back anyway because there's no way you're passing that test on Friday. Yeah, about that test. Listen, you should totally help me study for it. Wait a minute. You actually want to try? Have you changed? Yeah, dude. I actually want to try my best and I need to graduate. Wow, okay. If you're really trying to change, then, then I don't mind helping you out. Meet me at the library tonight. My goodness, man. I've been waiting for Brian forever. Where is he? He's an hour late. Hey, hey man, uh, sorry I'm late, <laughs> you know me. Dude, you couldn't just text me? It's been an hour, I've been standing here like a dummy. Listen, I said I'm sorry, okay? All right, well, let's get started. Tell me some of the stuff that you know. Um, well, I mean, I don't know a lot, so why don't you just, I don't know, just tell me what you know. Dude, could you get off your phone, please, and pay attention? I mean, we haven't even gotten to the studying part yet, and you're still already not listening. All right, all right, fine, 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 whatever. All right, man, so math is like super, super simple. It's really not that hard, but you just have to study the equations and understand how the equations work. Totally. Listen, dude, I I don't really have time for this right now. I, I gotta go. What? Seriously? What? what do you have to do? Rick wants to drive my new car that mom just bought me. So, you know, I'm just gonna go hang out with him for a little bit. <sighs> okay, whatever, dude. All right, see ya. Man, I just can't believe that he didn't take this seriously. I should have known. I should have known that he didn't change. He just wanted me to do everything for him. I just can't stand this. I'm tired of him manipulating me and everyone else around him. He's supposed to be my twin brother, but he's the most spoiled and selfish person I've ever met. 
But whatever, I mean, I know I can go past the test and everything will be fine. Oh, Brian, hey, what's up, dude? Yo, hey, hey man, are you ready for the test or what? Uh, yeah, I, 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 sh I feel like I'm pretty confident. It should be no problem. Yeah, I'm pretty confident too. I mean, I am pretty smart and awesome. So why wouldn't I pass, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever, man. Well, I just hope that you actually studied after you drove that car around with your friend all night. Yeah, 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 I totally studied. Now, come on, we gotta get into class and take the test. We're gonna be late. Okay, sounds good. Oh man, I totally got an A on that test. I can't wait to graduate. Oh man, this is really tough. I gotta come up with something fast. Let me just sneak up here and I'm gonna switch my names. Sorry, Andrew, but this is my paper now. <laughs> I can't believe this. Why did I get called into the principal's office? I feel like my test scores are the best ones maybe. Maybe I'm gonna get like some sort of award or something. This is great. Well, Andrew, I have to say, I am extremely disappointed in you right now. Whoa, are you serious? What do you mean? Why are you disappointed? Well, Andrew, you got the lowest test scores out of everybody in the whole school. I hate to tell you this, but you're not gonna be graduating. But I worked so hard, I studied so hard. I had straight A's every single year for my entire career in high school. H how could I have failed this test? I have no idea. You were always my best student and I was so proud of you. But now, I'm just disappointed. I thought you'd do better than this. I thought I would have too, and I'm really sorry for disappointing you. I guess I'll see you next year. Hey, Andrew. Look, I, I heard what happened. I I'm really sorry. I, I just don't know what happened. I, I don't get it. I it doesn't make any sense. Well, I did see that your brother was back in school. Are, are things better with him? Honestly, no. They're even worse than they were before. He hasn't changed. Nothing ever changes. I'm just so tired of my life being like this, Emily. I'm really sorry, Andrew. Want to maybe go out and get your mind off of everything? Yeah, that sounds good. I don't want to go home. I don't know about you, but this is probably one of the best ice creams I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, the flavor. Are you for real? I just don't get it. I don't get how I failed, Emily. How did I fail? It happens sometimes, and, you know, we all fail, but you just have to get back up. And don't worry about it. I know, I know. Failing's the only way that you succeed, I guess, right? I guess I can take it as a learning experience, but it's like I, I knew every answer so easily. I could visualize the answers in the book. It just doesn't make sense. Don't worry. We'll figure this all out. Oh, looks like I got an Instagram notification. It's not SGC underscore shame, which everybody should be following, but it looks like it's my brother. And he's celebrating that he got an A on the test? Wait, what? Are, are you serious? Th there's no way. Brian? No, this is too unrealistic. He hasn't been in school all year, and then he just walks in and gets an A on one of the hardest tests of the entire high school career? It's, it's impossible. Yeah, this does not seem right. Something fishy is going on. I have to get to the bottom of this, Emily. What if Brian cheated? What if Brian made me fail? Brian, I know that you cheated on that test, dude. There's no way you got an A and I got an F. Andrew, once again, can't you just get over it? Why are you always so jealous of me? I'm not jealous of you. Honestly, I feel bad for you. You've never earned anything in your entire life. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Honestly, even if I did cheat on the test, there's no way you could prove it. You can't get away with this. Oh, I'm getting away with this. And by the way, thanks for helping me graduate. <laughs> So you did cheat, you admit it. I had to cheat. It was the only way I could graduate. I was the second to last student in there. I was taking too long and, and I didn't know what I was doing. I felt embarrassed. Well, what about the other kid? He saw you do it. He saw you put your name on my paper. That's the only way this is possible. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyways, dude. There's no way you're gonna prove that I cheated. I'm gonna graduate and you're not. And you just have to deal with that. 
Oh, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove that you cheated. And you're gonna be sorry, I tell you that right now. Okay, I knew everyone that was in that class, and I asked everyone when they left, and I got it down to the last person that saw Brian cheat. I have to go get him as a witness. Hey, Eric. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Andrew. When you were taking that test, did you see anything weird? I know that you were like one of the last people there. I don't really remember much. I, I was just really focused on the test, you know? Super important. Look, man, my twin brother cheated on that test. He switched my name with his, and I I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I'm actually going to not graduate from high school because of this. Oh, that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally remember him. I mean, he had all those fancy clothes on and stuff. He was kind of flashy, but he was acting kind of weird in front of the classroom. I knew it. I knew that he did this. So, he was messing with the papers? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Look, Eric, is there any way you could just tell this to the principal with me, please? I really, really need your help, man. My whole future could be ruined because of this. Yeah, I could totally help you out. No problem. Can't believe I got called down to Principal Harris's office. Well, I better not have gotten caught. I hope I did it. I need to graduate. Oh, Brian, there you are. Thanks for coming. Yes, hi, Principal Harris. Um, you, you called me down here for something? Yes, actually, I did. We have a very, very serious problem, Brian. Oh, no. Uh, wh what's that? We caught you cheating on the final. Me? Cheating on the final? You're, you gotta be joking. We're not joking. I have proof and a witness. That's right, and I personally looked over both of the finals, and I could clearly tell that they were changed out. I know Andrew's work better than anybody. And you put your name on the paper. Did you really think you weren't gonna get caught? Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get caught because this school is so stupid, filled with nothing but stupid teachers and stupid students. Well, that's a terrible attitude to have, Brian, and that's why you're standing here right now, because you don't wanna work hard for anything. You're so spoiled. You just want everyone to hand everything to you forever. Shut up, Andrew. All right, boys, stop right now, okay? I've had enough of this. Brian, you're not gonna be graduating now. Yeah, well, whatever. Who needs to graduate school anyways? Stupid losers. They don't need, I don't need any of this. <laughs> Andrew, I am so sorry for everything that happened. Hey, it's okay. I mean, it said my name on the paper. I can totally understand that you didn't think I passed. I knew you were going to pass. You are the smartest student in this school, and you've got a bright future ahead of you. I'm just glad we finally got to the bottom of things. Emily, I can't believe it. We're here at graduation. I'm so glad I was able to figure all this out. I know. I'm glad, too. You can finally graduate. This is awesome. I know, and, and I, I'm just so grateful that you were there for me this whole time, Emily. Not many people would do that. Well, you're a great guy, Andrew. You're really great, too. And, and I was wondering, I know that we hang out all the time and stuff, and would you want to, like, maybe go out with me, like, on a real date? I've always wanted you to be my girlfriend. Wait, seriously? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Hey, Andrew, I need to talk to you. What do you want, Brian? You ruined everything for me. I was supposed to be up on the stage graduating today, not you. Brian, seriously? You're acting like a baby. You're the one that cheated, not me. You're the one that got kicked out of school, not me. You made decisions. You have to live with the consequences. It's no one else's fault but your own. If you want change, look at yourself in the mirror and figure out why you keep doing all these terrible things and stop it. And you're gonna be sorry for this one day, Andrew. I swear, you're gonna be sorry. I can't believe you, Brian. You never show up for work. Your work is terrible, and you keep asking for raises. Who do you think you are? 
I'm Brian. That's who I am. And honestly, I don't even need this job to begin with. It's so stupid. And you're the worst manager ever. I'm never coming back here. It doesn't matter who you are because you're nothing. You're in the real world now, buddy. No one cares that you're Brian or whatever. You were here to do a job and you didn't do it. You're fired. I don't ever want to see you here again. And if I do, I'm calling the cops. Fine. Whatever. Loser. This is so stupid. Why does this always happen to me? I feel like everybody around me just eventually turns on me and hates me. And I don't know why. I feel like I never can do anything right. I gotta get a new job. Somewhere easy. I think a place down the street is hiring maybe. Or I could check out like a fast food place. I don't know. Emily, I got home as fast as I could. What's the emergency? Well, Andrew, I, I need to tell you something. Something very important. Oh, no. What, what, what's wrong? What's happening? Nothing's wrong, silly. We're having a baby. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I'm going to be a dad. This is amazing. I know. Super exciting news. We get to start our very own family. That's great. I just... I don't know, I'm nervous. I mean, I never got over what happened with me and my brother as we were kids. And now we're gonna have a kid and they're not gonna know their own uncle. I know it's been hard on you, Andrew, but you two will sort it out. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, wait, my phone's going off. Oh my gosh, Emily, I'm so sorry, but it seems like there's something going on at the office. I have to go back. Okay, well, drive safely, new dad. Bye, I love you. All right, Brian, you cannot mess this up, okay? You have to get this job. I just need this stupid manager to get here so this interview will be over. Man, I hate interviews. Brian? Whoa, Andrew, what are you doing here? I'm the hiring manager here. Who, what are you doing here? I applied for the job. I, I really could use a job. <laughs> Why would I give you a job? You never work hard for anything in your whole life. Listen, man, it's been a while, okay? I I really need this job, and, and I've changed. I promise. I don't know. You've told me you've changed in the past, and then you didn't. How do I know I can trust you? Because I have nothing left, okay? Mom kicked me out. I'm broke. I just lost my job. I, I've got nothing, okay? I could really use the help. <sighs> I don't know. I did tell Emily that maybe you and I would try to talk at some point. <sighs> Okay, fine. You can work here, but it's going to be an entry-level job, okay? Yeah, no, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Thank you. I really, really need the job. And actually, I kind of need a place to sleep. Uh, do you mind if I stay with you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, whatever. Okay, fine. Whoa, so this is your place? Yeah, this is it, man. Huh. I can't believe you'd live somewhere so nice. Uh, okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but yeah, great. Look, there's an extra room upstairs if you want to sleep up there, it should be fine. Yeah, thanks. It beats sleeping on a park bench, that's for sure. Yeah, just don't touch any of my stuff or anything. All right, all right, I promise. Listen, I really appreciate you helping me a lot, dude. Yeah, it's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Wait a second, Andrew, Um, why is Brian here? Well, he, he came in and applied for a job, and I felt bad, so I gave it to him, and he said he had nowhere to stay, so I told him he could crash here for the night. Andrew, that's not really a good idea. I mean, he is a really negative person, and we're trying to start a family. I don't think this is the right time to do this. I know, but we talked earlier, and maybe things can be better with Brian. Maybe he just needs somebody to guide him. I mean, we're adults now. It's been like 10 years since I've talked to him. I just don't know about this. I don't have a good feeling about it. Well, worst comes to worst, I can just kick him out and fire him. It'll be fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually doing this job. A janitor? Seriously? I'm way better than this. Cleaning bathrooms and stuff? Ugh, it's just so gross. This place is stupid and it smells so bad. I don't understand why I couldn't just be, you know, assistant manager or something. And Andrew should have just given me a better job. Oh, 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 oh hey, oh, sorry there. Why don't you watch where you're walking? Whoa, Andrew, wh I didn't mean to make you so mad, man. Why are you wearing the janitor's outfit? Uh, um, 
Just, just mind your own business, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sorry, boss. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you or anything. Boss? What do you mean, boss? Well, Andrew, you're my boss. Are you okay? Did you hit your head today? Do you need to, like, go see a doctor or anything? You're acting really weird. Uh, no. No, no, I'm fine. Why, why don't you just get back to work? Uh, okay, fine. I didn't need to use the bathroom that bad anyway. I, I guess I'll, uh, I'll, I'll wait till after work. All right, see ya. <laughs> Stupid idiot thought it was Andrew. Actually, this could work out perfectly. <laughs> Man, I'm sort of glad that Brian's back. I mean, I want a relationship with him, but I just don't know if I can trust him. And I don't know if I want to jeopardize my future with Emily or my future family. I don't know what to do. I mean, what if he steals from us or anything? Or even worse, what if he is around and he's mean to my kid? Oh, whatever. I, I can't let this bother me. I've got a big important meeting. Uh, Brian? We really need to cut back expenses, okay? We need to trim down the fat. We're spending too much money. So we came up with the great idea of cutting your pay in half and giving the rest back to the company. Brian, what are you doing in here, man? I'm, I'm managing, obviously. Uh, I'm confused. Andrew, why are there two of you? Because this is my ridiculous twin brother that I hired as a janitor. And now he's in here impersonating me, just like he did in high school. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Yeah, it is. Can you please just leave? Uh, you're not getting your pay going to him or any of that stuff. He's a, he's a, a crazy person. Don't listen to him. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I knew it. I knew I couldn't trust you, Brian. This was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Listen, dude, I'm sorry, okay? That stupid worker of yours saw me and just thought it was you. And it was just a force of habit, you know? I, I didn't know what to do. No, it's not a habit to be a terrible person. And you know what you can do? You can pack up your stuff and get out of here, Brian. You're fired. No. No, Andrew, please, please. You know I need this job. I don't care. You've been spoiled your entire life, and you've never worked for anything. I gave you a chance, and you failed. You're never getting another chance from me, Brian. Walk out of this building and walk out of my life. Oh, Andrew is such a jerk. He's just leaving me on the streets. His own twin brother. How could he do that to me? I mean, yeah, sure, I pretended to be him, and I tried to be a manager, but like, what's the problem with that? And I can't believe he would just do this to me. I hate Andrew. I hate him for firing me. I hate him for having a better life than me. Yeah, maybe I've done some wrong stuff. Maybe I've acted kind of like a jerk, but, but it's not my fault. I just don't, I just don't know what to do anymore. I feel so lost. Ew, Brian! What? Whoa, man, it's Rick! Dude, I haven't seen you in years! What's going on, man? I don't know, bro, but you look awful! What happened to you? I was working with Andrew, and the jerk just totally fired me. Whoa, whoa, Andrew's successful? He makes money, huh? Yeah, he has his own business, and he's like the manager or something. Yo, this is great, alright? I feel like fate has brought us together! What do you mean? Well, obviously, we know what we got to do, just like old times. We got to go in there. We got to steal all the money from this company. It'll be hilarious. Uh, I don't know, man. It's got a good security system. We, we could get caught or something. Brian, I've been at this for a long time. I ain't scared of nothing. I never knew you were scared of stuff, too. Mwah. Wow, crybaby over here. I'm scared. Mwah. Shut up, Rick. I'm not scared of anything. Then help me rob your brother, dude. We could go buy new cars and everything. It'll be great. All right, fine. Let's do it. Oh, man. I don't know if I handled things the right way today. Maybe I overreacted, but I don't know. I really wanted to fix things, but I just don't know if I can trust him. I mean, I got my own family to think about. But Brian is my brother, but he's always been horrible to me. I'm just so torn. I don't know what to do. Oh, hey, what's up, man? I, I wanted to talk to you. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I, I was late packing. I'm just getting my stuff. I'll be out of your hair. Don't worry. 
Look, uh, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? I, I, I wanted to talk to you. I might have overreacted a little bit. Listen, maybe pretending to be you is wrong. Sure. But you totally overreacted, dude. I can't believe you just let me go like that. Well, you could have gotten me fired. This is my livelihood. I have a baby on the way and a wife now. I have responsibilities. You didn't want your old family and now you're starting a new one. It makes sense. No, you guys didn't want me, okay? You were all terrible to me. You and mom. But you know what? Look, let's just hang out one-on-one, -on -one, me and you as brothers. Forget about the past and let's just see if we can get along, man. Seriously? You just want to hang out with me? We've never, like, hung out in our whole lives. Well, let's change that. <laughs> man, Brian, I didn't know it was so good to hang out with you, man. Yeah, and honestly, I didn't realize that you actually were kind of cool. And you're funny, dude. Like, you're actually funny. Why have we not gotten along? I mean, it seems like we're fine right now. Yeah, I don't know, dude. But listen... I need to tell you something. Okay, what's what's up, man? I I ran into Rick the other day. Remember Rick, my old friend from school? Yeah, yeah, I remember Rick. That guy was awful. Yeah, well, he's a uh, he's still kind of awful, and he kind of convinced me to rob you. What? What are you talking about? You're gonna rob me? My house or my business? No, 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 no. It was, well, it was gonna be both. But no, listen, dude, I don't wanna actually do it, okay? He just kind of, kind of forced me into it. And I caved in and I told him I would, but, but I actually don't want to. I can't believe this, Brian. You're so infuriating. You never change. You always take the easy way out, don't you? You couldn't have just gone to work, done your job and moved up. No, you had to come in and try to rob me. You tried to take everything that I've worked for. A Andrew, stop. No, just, just listen to me, okay? I've had enough listening to you. I've had a lifetime of listening to you. I can't trust you, Brian. I'm done. Now I have to go stop Rick and clean up the mess you made again. Stop right there, Rick. Hey, yo, man, where's your brother Brian? I was waiting for him to show up, but uh, you know what? I decided to take the money myself. You're not going to get away with this. I already called the cops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny because I'm definitely getting away with it, though. No, you're not. Just stop right there, Rick. How about this, Andrew? <laughs> you're a loser. You've always been a loser. By the way, I changed my name, dummy. So if you call the cops, they're going to be looking for the old me, not the new me. Stop right there, Rick. What are you talking about, Brian? Why are you so late, man? When I'm not splitting all this money with you now, you're only getting a quarter of it. And you're not getting any of it. Put the money down right now. Would you get scared? Are you a scaredy cat now? Is that what's happening? No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you anymore, Rick. Well, I ain't putting the money down, Brian. Then I'm going to make you put the money down. Ah! Whoa. Oh, my head. Brian, what's going on, man? Andrew, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you just save me? I guess. Yeah, I stopped Rick and I got all the money back. I'm... I'm really sorry about everything, dude. I'm really sorry too. I mean, I, I can't believe that you would do this for me. It really shows that you did change, or at least you're trying to. I told you I'm trying. I mean, it's not easy, but I wanna be better than what I was. And listen, I understand if you don't want me back in your life, I, I get it, but I'm just trying to show you that I care and I care about you, dude. You're my brother. Well, look. Let's just start from scratch, okay? Everything that happened in the past doesn't matter. The only thing that matters now is the future. 